Last Blood tells the story of Rambo as he must head across the Mexican border in order to save his a friend of his, his daughter from an evil cartel. I don't even think I should call them a cartel. Pretty much, they're sex slaves. Pretty much, you gotta save her from sex slavery. That's pretty much it. My number one complaint with this movie is. It takes the plot of Taken. I love Taken. Taken was a good movie for me. But I think you can make base it off the plot of Taken. But this is pretty much Taken Rambo style. Overall, the acting that's not Sylvester Stallone, because Sylvester Stallone is awesome in this movie. Eh, I don't know. It's just meh. But overall, the action is amazing. Even though I'm still questioning myself, it's been like what one or two years since he left Burma. How the heck did he dig those tunnels under his house? It has, there's like no tools. I have not seen any tools on his farm that could even remotely dig all those tunnels. I don't care if it's just for the plot for the end of the movie. I don't care. At all. But overall, the plot. Ugh. People found this movie racist because of Rambo in Mexico. Because it's a Rambo, pretty much, when he goes to Mexico, he kills a bunch of people that are not white. I can see why people would think this. They should have been careful with what they were trying to do in this movie. And the way they portrayed Mexico in this movie also did not help it. It showed Mexico as this place where it's just bad people, bad things everywhere. There's no goodness in Mexico. I get it, you're trying to follow the themes of the Rambo series. But the way you're doing it, it's not gonna help you guys out that much. And overall, all villains... I don't think I can even call them a cartel because there's no drugs involved except when he, they drug up the girls. They're pretty much just... They just sell girls for sex. That's all they do in this movie. There's no drugs. They're not selling drugs or anything, so you can't really call them a cartel, in my opinion. But our villains, Hugo and Victor Martinez. I kind of like Victor Martinez as should have been the main villain because he's more threatening. Hugo was an idiot and left the guy who just walked up to them alive. Of course, they do kill Gabrielle after that, after drugging her up. Yeah, kind of saw that coming with the overdose. Yeah. And our reporter character, crap, what was her name? I can't remember her name. She was that forgettable. She's only like three scenes. She does nothing for the plot except help Rambo kill these guys like tell oh yeah your friend she's in that building over there fit martinez he's at the house over there that's all she does doesn't really do much rambo does all the work here the overall gore this follows rambo with the gore the gore once again has been cranked up shoot we even get this guy he goes martinez heart cut out by rambo's new knife the heart stuff that's called the heart stopper. Wow. But overall, this is pretty much my favorite sequel. You know, I just ripped on this movie a lot. Probably because this is the Rambo movie that came out in my generation. I didn't grow up with the Rambo movies. I love the Rambo movies, but this became my favorite sequel. Because this is the one that got me into the Rambo series. So, I will give this movie... Three stars out of five. Join me next week 
as I review, well not review, why am I saying review? As I rank the entire Rambo franchise. So, till then guys, I will see you later.